Good morning, welcome to day five. Is today the fifth? No, today's the sixth. Oh my gosh, this is the sixth vlog I've created already. That is blowing my mind. Okay, so I'm at work again, you know, nine o'clock. We love it, but also don't love it. I just hate waking up early, so that's been frustrating. But I'm about to clean the turbo and I'm going to listen to more of They Never Learn. Last night I made it to 26% and I believe it was like chapter 18. Um, like I said, I'm actually really, really loving it. So it's about um, this professor named Scarlett. She works at a college, which I think is kind of cool since I work at a college, but I mean, she's a professor and I'm not, I just work in dining. Um, but she kills, she's like a serial killer and she kills these bad men. So one of the stories that she told before was that she killed um, some boys that kind of like gang raped a young student but there were some twists now because there's also this um, other POV Carly she is a freshman at the college and I was wondering how she was gonna be connected to Scarlett and we finally got like a look as to like how she's connected or why she's the other person in this book but I am really loving it and like I said yesterday I really love the message of rape culture and everything a lot of people said that it is a really good message in the book so I think I'm going to continue genuinely like the message um, but there's already been a few twists um, some twists that I didn't see like just small ones you know but I really like that in a book I like when there are small twists going throughout the thriller and then like a large twist at the end compared to the whole thriller I'm just waiting for it and then being like unsatisfied with the big twist at the end so so far it has been a great book if you haven't picked it up yet I think that you should if you wanted something that's a little bit more different like I love that it's a female serial killer I think that that's great look how cool it looks out here it's like stormy weather not too cold either it just looks really nice soon time for me to get off about 15 more minutes. <laughs> Yay. These clouds are just so amazing. Look at that. Does that not look so cool? Okay, so I am off from work and I had put in a Walmart pickup grocery order because Kroger didn't have some of the things that I had ordered the other day and I couldn't like do any of the meals I planned this week because I don't have all the ingredients. So I thought I was gonna go to Walmart and quick do that pickup order, but they ended up messaging me or emailing me and saying that they had no clue when the order was gonna be ready, that they were delayed. So I just ended up canceling it. And now I'm going to quick stop by, I guess, Kroger and pick up the items that I need. So thought I was gonna be saving some time, but instead I actually have to go grocery shopping. So I'm gonna go do that. It's kind of irritating and frustrating because I know that it's gonna take me more time than just going and picking up an order. Such is life, so let's go do that. Otherwise, I'm gonna have no meals to make the rest of the week, and I've hardly even been making anything because I don't have any ingredients to actually like put things together. Of course, the ingredients that like they didn't have for my order is like one ingredient per meal that I need. So, let's go grocery shopping, I guess.
I'm home. I put the groceries away. I made dinner, which I just, all I did was like cooked ramen and a bunch of veggies because I needed something quick. But over the next few days, I actually will be making some homemade dinners, which I'm really excited about. Now it's time to open up all the packages that I just got in the mail. I believe that this first one might be my Fitbit. My Fitbit actually had broke about a month or so ago and I had to send it off to get fixed. And so I think that this is it, finally. I do these things called step bets. It's almost like diet bet, but with steps. Yes. Okay, this <laughs> is my new little Fitbit. And then they sent me two bands, which is really nice. And then another charger. What is this? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a gift. Did they not put the actual gift name? Anyway, they sent me Sushi Go Party, which is a really, really fun, um, like, game <laughs> where you, like, build sushi and stuff. I played it one time, and it was really, really fun. It's for two to eight players, which is awesome because then Alvin and I can play it. Um, but then also when I have, like, game nights with, like, my book friends and stuff, then I can, like, have, like, a bunch of people play it. And it's in this, like, really, really cute tin. Oh, my gosh. Ah, I need to figure out who sent this to me so I can thank them. Look at that. So cute. Oh, my gosh. Maybe Alvin and I can try and play it on my day off either on Thursday or Friday when he comes home. That is really cute. Well, I think this is stamps that I got for Patreon for me to mail out the bookmarks. Oh my gosh, these are really cute. Okay, so I got these coffee stamps. I've had these ones before and I think that they are gorgeous. I absolutely love them. And then I got these cute little otter stamps. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are. I love those. It's otters in the snow. Those are really, really cute. So I got those for when I sent out bookmarks. And I think a lot of these might be stickers from Etsy. Little monthly stickers that I got. How cute they are. So I can like paste them in my journal. I love those. Hopefully they're for the new year. <laughs> they came in this cute little envelope too. All right, let's see what this one is. This is also from Amazon. This is a gift from Jaylee also. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, it's a whole pack of all different book stickers. Look at these. Oh, these are so cute. I'll have to lay them all out and show them all to you later. Hello. What's up? Just opening packages. All right, last one that I have here. It's what I ordered from Amazon. It's weird because they come in these like brown envelopes now. Cards for Patreon as well. So that was a good little haul. I definitely have more stickers coming from Etsy. So I hope they show up in the next few days because I keep getting notifications that they all shift. Do you want to eat? Uh, you can finish your stuff. No, I'm, I'm ready. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, time to open the advent calendars for today in the 24 days of tea number six down here let's see what it is north star interesting what does that even mean oh i might have some of this now sugar orange peel mint brittle with hazelnut white star sprinkles orange flavor lemongrass blossom spinach orange blossom that is a lot. <sighs> hmm. Mm, I don't know if I would like that one. It's very like herby and like florally. Florally? Floral-y? Floral-y. Oh, does the dark chocolate orange have caffeine? It does have two of caffeine. Darn. I really want to have that one. Okay, next up is Nespresso. Let's see. Number six is over here. Bianco Forte. This is a coffee and I don't think I've had this one yet. I had the Bianco, like the Bianco Leggero is the double espresso that I really, really love. Um, but this is a coffee pod, Bianchi, Bianco Forte, and I have not tried this. I definitely think I'm going to make this in the morning to try. Got uh, this guy over here. 
he's patiently waiting for his uh his advent calendar. Alvin is in the shower though right now and so I was going to wait to do the cheese and the um and Graham's one. I think he has a big one today. He does. He has a really big one. It's the Christmas tree. The number six is this one. That's big. Oh, nope. Not yet. Not yet. Time for the cheese calendar. Today is day six. Here. Ooh. See, this is bigger. Uh, I think it's just thinner. Oh, it is thinner. It's the same size. We're trying to be deceiving. Okay, this one's black pepper gouda. It's funny, someone wrote a comment and they were like, um, it says mini cheeses. <laughs> Look, I mean, they're not wrong. They're not wrong, but I definitely didn't think about how small mini cheese would be, you know? Oh, thanks. Cheers. Gouda. There, no, no oh, mold. Did yeah. you check? Gouda. No mood. Mold. No mood. No mood. I got some black pepper now. Yeah. It tastes like a hard boiled egg. Yeah, I was about to like say, it, white. Just, it just tastes like Colby though. Like it doesn't taste like Gouda. Yeah, it doesn't taste like Gouda. It tasted literally like black pepper on an egg white. That's what smoked pepper Gouda is. It says black pepper Gouda. Black, what else? Black smoked. Pe smoked, smoked pepper. pepper. Yeah. Smoked, mmm, that's because it wasn't smoked Gouda. It should have been. It should have been black pepper smoked Gouda. See, I gave him a recommendation. See, we need to just create our own cheese calendar. Oh my gosh, Graham. Is it time for your advent calendar? Is it, is it time for your advent calendar? Yeah. You wanna go open your advent? Let's go open your advent calendar. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, you gotta open it. Well. You got a big one today. Ooh, is it gonna be, is it gonna be a toy probably? That is, that's huge. It's large. That is very large. Aww, what is it? It's definitely a toy. <gasps> Aww. He wants it is it, is so it cute? Bad. He does. Oh, it's a little penguin. Give it a hug. <laughs> he said, and? Does it squeak or is it just? He, he said, All right, mom, where's the good stuff? It's crinkly. Aww, cute little penguin. He said, That's it. I guess we can give you a milk bone. Look, it's cute, Graham. He said, But where's the real prize? He said. <laughs> you don't like your penguin? I think this is a cute penguin. Oh, time for a treat. Oh. <laughs> <Is> it? <laughs> Thanks. He said forget that penguin. Oh, oh. He said you're in oh. the spot to eat this. Oh, sorry. Let me let me get out of your way here, Graham. Did you eat that already? You little piggy. Sick boy. <laughs> he said, I can I can smell a crumb. You want a milk bone too? We got a little stash here because we get so many packages, all the FedEx and UPS and everybody leaves them a bone. You gotta sit. Good boy. He really likes chewing on those ones. It's still a cute toy. It is a really cute toy. I like it. That is cute. Too bad our dog doesn't actually like toys. Oh, you should have just laid there with your penguin. <laughs> Taste test for the Blueberry Fields. Was it Blueberry Fields Forever? I think this was the one I opened yesterday. I put honey and milk. Unfortunately though, anytime I have a fruit tea, the milk kind of curdles. 
it's not bad. Not my favorite, but drinkable. Tastes like blueberry pie-ish. I'm going to sit and edit yesterday's vlog now, so I'll see you in like two hours. So I know you had a bad two days, so I got you a treat. My hoe got me some ho-hos. <laughs> yeah, sure did. <laughs> Would you like a coffee or anything to go along with this? I might make one. Okay. Okay, so finished my video. It is pretty late. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Um, but yesterday, I think it was yesterday, or it might have been two days ago, I needed to send the wishlist winner um, their book from Book Depository, but their wishlist wasn't working. Um, so anyway, that is all figured out now. I did send them. They never learn because I'm enjoying that right now and it was on their wish list. Um, so that was for like two days ago. For today, we're going to pick a new winner. I now have 117 wish lists. So we're going to generate 101. I actually got um, some people commenting. They were a little confused on how like to enter or did they need to send me their wish list every day or on every video. No, if you just go to my December TBR video, I can link it up here. That's where I talked about where I was doing this daily wish list giveaway. And so you just have to email me your wish list. If you are international, you can send me your book depository wish list, but you do need to send me your address because book depository doesn't give me that information. As for Amazon, they do give me that information, but only if you have it checked on under your settings. I'm still taking wish lists, like I've been adding them every single day that I get emails for them and they're just added into here. So that's why on like day one, I started with like 101 and now I have 117 because I've been adding them daily for those of you that haven't sent them to me yet. I'll see if I can drop a comment down below with my email so that way you can send them, but you can find all that information in the other video that I talked about, my December TBR. Okay, 101, let's go ahead. There's 50 on the first page, 100 on the second page. So the top person on the third page. Oh my gosh, that's so funny because I know who this is. There is a mixture of books and some clothing and stuff. Let's see what we have here. I mean, obviously, we love Nespresso. Um, let's see. We got some fantasy books. I'm just going to pick something, I guess. Okay, because I don't know the fantasy books, I'm going to go with one of these. It looks like... Christian books. This is the power of prayer. Suffering is never for nothing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick one of these. All right. It has been ordered. So I did not get to do as much tonight as I did in yesterday's vlog. Even though I did edit the video, I think it just took me longer, especially since I had to like go and, you know, grocery shop and all that stuff. So I didn't get done until later. And now it's like 15 minutes till midnight. And I didn't do my Bible study. I didn't read anymore, um, but I'm going to head to bed. I still have to work a slightly early shift tomorrow. I work 10.30 to seven, um, but I actually have to go get my COVID test in the morning. I have to do like a weekly COVID test because of work and stuff. But I'm going to try and wake up early like I've been doing. I've been waking up at like 820 so that way I can maybe do my Bible study in the morning and do my advent calendars and like have some coffee and just kind of like relax a little bit before work because I won't get off till 7 so I definitely will be getting home later tomorrow. It, actually tomorrow's shift is like my least favorite because it's like smack dab in the middle of the day so you can't really get anything done like before or after really. So when I come home I'm going to have to like edit the video and it'll probably be late again. But then after that I will get to go back to my normal like closing shift so I feel like I can edit the videos in the morning and get a lot of stuff done in the morning and then go to work in the afternoon. For some reason those are like my most productive work shifts is when I work like a 3 to 11.30 even though 
I don't get to spend as much time then with Alvin during those shifts because he has the opposite type of schedule. I just get a lot more stuff done because I feel really productive in the mornings before I go to work. Anyways, so we put Graham's little penguin over here on the uh, chair. I think we're just gonna use it as like a future baby toy because Graham does not play with it and it is really cute and it like crinkles and babies love crinkled stuff. So I think it's just gonna be a future uh, baby stuffed animal. But I, I think this advent calendar is great. A lot of people have been asking me where I've been getting my advent calendars from and the dog one that's for Graham actually came from Costco. I saw it there in like, it might've been October. It was like a while ago and I picked it up right when I saw it because they sold out really fast. And then obviously my David's Tea calendar is from David's Tea. And then my Nespresso calendar I got online on Nespresso.com, but I saw that they're also sold out. So you definitely have to get your advent calendars like ahead of the time, like in October. Oh, and then Aldi had the cheese calendar, which is what I'm doing. And they had like a chocolate calendar and a seltzer calendar and wine. I did do their wine one before, but I didn't see it this year, so I didn't get it. Costco also had a wine calendar, but it was just really expensive. So I didn't end up getting those. My sister though got the chocolate one from Aldi and if they say it's good, I'm definitely gonna look out for it for next year. But I really, really love opening the advent calendars. I think it's great. I love the surprise. I love that it's different every day. It's definitely something that I want to do next year and I'm buying that dog advent calendar for Graham again. I'm gonna head to bed. I hope you all had a great day. Thank you for watching all my videos. I really appreciate it and I will see you tomorrow in another video. Bye everyone.